Hey YouTube, it's 123 ALG Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to use your iPod Touch to control your computer. Um, so, for this um, demonstration, you're going to need an iPod Touch or iPhone, um, a computer, and a internet connection. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your iPod and you're going to go to the App Store. Once you're at the App Store, you're going to go to Search and then type in Remote Pad in the search bar. Um, spelt R-E-M-O-T-E -E space P-A-D. And then you're going to click the first choice that comes up. It has like a, a white, the emblem is a white background with a few uh, black cursors. So you're going to install that. It's absolutely free. And once it's installed, uh, you should see your icon there. So, put the iPod aside for a second, and you're going to want to go to your address bar and type in this link. Um, www.ten G -I -N, uh, J -I -N org. Once again, www.tenjin.org. And I'm going to post a link in the video description, so don't worry about that. So, this page should pop up. Um, over here you see iPhone applications. And under that, it'll say iPhone Remote Pad Application. You want to click on that. And it will show a whole bunch of operating systems that this program is for. Um, Mac OS X 10.5, 10.4 for Windows and for Linux and that stuff. So, as you can see here, Remote Pad is an open source application that controls the mouse cursor of your desktop PC. This way you can use your iPhone or iPod Touch as a wireless touchpad. So, that's basically what this app is. So I just click download. You want to download that. I already have it, so I don't need to show you guys. <clears throat> so the icon is right here. Uh, Remote Pad Server 2.0 for Windows. So when you click on that and double click it, um, let me go ahead and double click it. Uh, a pop, something should pop up and it says Remote Pad Server in a little icon over here. So you want to click Run. Make sure you leave this up until it uh, downloads, because if you cancel it, then it's, this thing is not going to pop up. So I'm just going to minimize it for now. And this is a small box that controls everything. Say, Remote Pad Server for Windows, version 2.0. And then everything else besides what I'm about to say, don't worry about. But right here, it'll say Server IP Addresses. That's the number you need. So you're going to take your iPod, and you're going to go to... Um, the app, Remote Pad, and you're going to take this IP address, server IP address for the application, and you're going to type it into this bar, which says enter server IP address or host name. So I've entered it already. Let's hope it works. Yes, it says connected, continue. So as you can see, my mouse that I'm using my regular mouse with, I'm now going to put that mouse aside. And I have nobody here that's controlling it. See, my mouse is right there. So I'm not cheating, and I, I promise, you're just going to have to take my word for it. I'm going to use my finger to control the mouse that you can see is moving around the screen. It's really easy. You can also turn it sideways, I guess. Yeah. Um, turn it sideways. And then you can use the white bar at the top as a clicker. So let's say I want to go to um, the internet. I'm going to scroll onto there and click and the internet will pop up. So let me go ahead and delete this. It's really easy to use if you get, once you get used to it. Minimize this. So, it's, let me show you a couple other features. Uh, there's hide button, 
which takes that white button away, and you could just um, tap the screen to use as a, a click. Then there's keyboard, so you, if you don't want to use your regular keyboard, you can um, enter things on there. So let me show an example. So let me bring this up. I'm going to use the... On YouTube, I'm going to go to the search bar. And I'm going to type in, let's say, my YouTube account. One, two, three. A L G Productions. And as you can see, it has typed in up there. You can barely see it, but you can see it. So it has worked, it's successful. And then I'm going to click on search and I spelled my name wrong which is kind of embarrassing so I'm going to retype that in so um so yeah I'll see here's my channel that popped up right here And I guarantee you guys, I'm not using this mouse secretly. So, and there's nobody behind me, as you can see. Anyway, all my videos playing, I'm going to delete this again. And there you have it. Um, So there's a whole bunch of setup options also. So it's a really simple app, it's free, and I hope this helps you um, learn how to use it. I hope uh, my review and um, instructions of how to use your iPod as a mouse and slash keyboard um, are good instructions. So remember to subscribe subscribe guys and tell your friends to subscribe and rate and comment so now I'm going to bring my regular mouse back and say goodbye